So today I'm gonna change the SRS SRF zero double disc front disc floating disc. I got this beautiful high performance Galfa disc, but before changing to professional disc, I will give it a try. The idea is this floating disc should float, but as you see, it's completely stiff. How to try it? To find out, very easy. If you touch and doesn't move, and the sound is like, there is no tolerance. The braking disc and the mounting is like with debris, maybe stuck together. What we can do is give it a try from the professional. I heard there is a little solution, very quick. Let's do it. In order to clean, you put a Torx 27 into the rivets, then brake cleaner in between. And then you see some dirt liquid comes out. So we do this 10 times. Hoppala. Dirt comes out. Dirt comes out. Not too fast. Probably we kind of damage the rivets. We don't want to do it. Brakes are important. Hopefully, all the dirt maybe corrosion, whatever is in between, in between the rivets, the disc and the mounting part, everything is washed off and we will see in a minute. This is a very fast way to find out. So all done, let's make the check. Suddenly, you see? And by hand, you can turn the rivets. They are loose. And suddenly, we have a floating disc, which was not the case before. My disc, while I was braking, gave a lot of vibration on the steering. And now, it's free. I will do this on the other side, give a test, right? And most probably, I don't have to change for this, but since I have them and the brake performance is said to be much better than on the no-name disc, I will let you know after. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. So, seeing the details of these golfer brakes or discs here in behind the rivets, you have this wave ring washers and these wave ring washers are the big difference between the no name zero gen 3 front disc floating disc and this quality product wave washers let's find out <laughs> 